we have modified our environment, so radically that, we must now, modify ourselves to exist, in this new environment. Let us remember that, the automatic machine is the precise, economic equivalent of slave labor. Any labor which competes, with slave labor must accept, the economic consequences, of slave labor. There are no answers, only cross-references. The nervous system, and the automatic machine are, fundamentally alike in that, they are devices, which make decisions on the basis of, decisions they made. In the past, just as entropy, is a measure of disorganization, the information carried by, a set of messages is a, measure of organization. In fact, it is possible to interpret, the information carried by a message, as essentially the negative of its entropy, and the negative logarithm of its probability. That is, the more probable the message, the less information it gives. Clichés, for example, are less illuminating than great poems. To live effectively is to, live with adequate information. Information is information, it is neither matter nor energy. There is one quality, more important than know-how. This is know-how by which, we determine not only, how to accomplish our purposes, but what our purposes are to be. Our tissues change as we live, the food we eat, and the air we breathe become, flesh of our flesh, and bone of our bone, and the momentary elements of our flesh, and bone pass out of our body, every day with our excreta. We are but whirlpools, in a river of ever-flowing water. We are not stuff that abides, but patterns that perpetuate themselves. The world of the future will be, an even more demanding struggle, against the limitations of our intelligence, not a comfortable hammock in which, we can lie down to be waited, upon by our robot slaves. Progress imposes not only, new possibilities for the future, but new restrictions. Any use of a human being in which, less is demanded of him, and less is attributed to him, than his full status is a, degradation and a waste. The simple faith in progress, is not a conviction belonging to strength, but one belonging to acquiescence, and hence, to weakness. Science is a way of life, which can only flourish when, men are free to have faith. The best material model, of a cat is another, or preferably the same, cat. What most experimenters, take for granted before, they begin their experiments, is infinitely more interesting than, any results to which, their experiments lead. It is easy to make a simple machine, which will run toward the light, or run away from it, and if such machines, also contain lights of their own, a number of them together will show, complicated forms of social behavior. The most fruitful areas, for the growth of the sciences, were those which had been neglected, as a no man's land between, the various established fields. What sometimes enrages me, and always disappoints, and grieves me is the preference, of great schools of learning, for the derivative as opposed, to the original, for the conventional, and thin which can be duplicated, in many copies rather than, the new and powerful, and for arid correctness, and limitation of scope, and method rather than, for universal newness, 
and beauty, wherever it may be seen. We are but whirlpools, in a river of ever-flowing water. We are not stuff, that abides, but patterns that, perpetuate themselves. A pattern is a message, and may be transmitted as a message. One of the chief duties, of the mathematician in acting, as an advisor, is to discourage, from expecting too much, from mathematics. The automatic machine, whatever we think of, any feelings it may, or may not have, is the precise economic equivalent, of the slave. In a very real sense, we are shipwrecked passengers, on a doomed planet. Yet, even in a shipwreck, human decencies, and human values, do not necessarily vanish, and we must make, the most of them. We shall go down, but let it be in a manner, to which we may look forward, as worthy of our dignity. I have said that, science is impossible without faith, inductive logic, the logic of Bacon, is rather something on which, we can act than something, which we can prove, and to act on it is a, supreme assertion of faith, science is a way of life, which can only flourish, when men are free to have faith. Mathematics is a field, which has often been, compared with chess, but differs from the latter, in that it is only one's best moments, that count and not one's worst. Any useful logic, must concern itself with ideas, with a fringe of vagueness, and a truth that is, a matter of degree. A professor is one, who can speak on any subject, for precisely 50 minutes. I may remark parenthetically that, the modern apparatus of, the theory of small samples, once, it goes beyond the, determination of its own specially, defined parameters, and becomes a method for positive, statistical inference in new cases, does not inspire me, with any confidence unless, it is applied by a statistician by whom, the main elements of the dynamics, of the situation are either, explicitly known, or implicitly felt. Science is better paid, than at any time in the past. The results of this pay, have been to attract into science, many of those for whom, the pay is the first consideration, and who scorn to sacrifice, immediate profit for the freedom, of development of their, own concept. Moreover, this inner development, important and indispensable as it may be, to the world of science in the future, generally, does not have the tendency to, put a single cent into the, pockets of their employers. If the human being, is condemned, and restricted to perform the, same functions over, and over again, he will not even be a good ant, not to mention, a good human being. Scientific discovery, consists in the interpretation, for our own convenience, of a system of existence, which has been made with, no eye to our convenience at all. The more we get out, of the world, the less we leave, and in the long run, we shall have to pay our, debts at a time that, may be very inconvenient, for our own survival. The mechanical brain, does not secrete thought as the liver does bile, as the earlier materialists claimed, nor does it put it out, in the form of energy, as the muscle puts out its activity. Information is information, not matter or energy. No materialism, which does not admit this, can survive at the present day. The sense of tragedy, is that the world is not a pleasant, little nest made for our protection, but a vast, 
and largely hostile environment, in which we can achieve great things only by defying the gods, and that this defiance inevitably brings its own punishment. Progress imposes not only new possibilities for the future, but new restrictions. It seems almost as if progress itself and our fight against the increase of entropy intrinsically must end in the downhill path from which we are trying to escape. Until we in the community have made up our minds that what we really want is expiation or removal or reform or the discouragement of potential criminals, we shall get none of these, but only a confusion in which crime breeds more crime. I have said that, the modern man, and especially the modern American, however much know how he may have, has very little know what. The modern physicist, is a quantum theorist on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and a student of gravitational relativity, on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. On Sunday, he is praying, that someone will find, the reconciliation between the two views. Am I really a good mathematician? Any labor which competes with slave labor must accept the economic conditions of slave labor. A significant idea of organization cannot be obtained in a world in which everything is necessary and nothing is contingent. A painter like Picasso, who runs through many periods and phases, ends up by saying all those things which are on the tip of the tongue of the age to say and finally sterilizes the originality of his contemporaries and juniors. It is possible to believe in progress as a fact without believing in progress as an ethical principle, but in the catechism of many Americans, the one goes with the other. In all important respects, the man who is nothing but his physical power to sell has nothing to sell, which it is worth anyone's money to buy. The science of control and communication in the animal and the machine. The idea that information can be stored in a changing world without an overwhelming depreciation of its value is false. It is scarcely less false than the more plausible claim that after a war, we may take our existing weapons, fill their barrels with information. We are in the position of the man who has only two ambitions in life. One is to invent the universal solvent which will dissolve any solid substance and the second is to invent the universal container which will hold any liquid. Whatever this inventor does, he will be frustrated. The advantage is that Mathematics is a field in which one's blunders tend to show very clearly and can be corrected or erased with a stroke of the pencil. The simplest type of breakdown exhibits itself as an oscillation in a goal-seeking process which appears only when that process is actively invoked. 